What is up guys and welcome to a fan mail unboxing much like the off the shelves video that you likely just saw yesterday I want to apologize for how long it has taken me to get to these packages some of them have been sitting here for a couple of months uh, I appreciate your guys patience and uh, I promise I didn't mean to ignore or delay this It's just been a very busy couple months, but now we're gonna get caught up with all of them So I have a number of letters. I have a number of packages and we're gonna check out what was sent So we'll start with the letters I'll try to go in somewhat of an order, but there's a bit of a, a pile going. So we've got this one right here. And I believe I know who this is from. Good old reliable Devin McCreary. He always sends me these cool little pictures here. These little uh, handmade cards. Hope you had a good 4th of July 2023. That's how long it's been. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a piece of shit. Uh, very cool little eagle here with the American flag and then two flags right here. Thank you, Devin. I hope you had a good 4th of July, too. I'm probably going to have a couple of these from him for all the holidays that have been in between there. All right, we got... This should be another one. Happy Memorial Day 2025. Again, right here. Happy Memorial Day... Sometimes it's hard to focus. I apologize. There we go. A little tombstone here. Happy Memorial Day. I hope you have a good Memorial Day in May of 2023. God, has it been since May? Time just flies for me, guys. I don't realize how long I wait sometimes for these things. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to, trying to open the envelope without damaging his letter. Sometimes this tape kills me. There we go. Now we have thumbs up for being a good dad. This is for Father's Day. So thumbs up for being a good dad. And some uh, some dad type things. Says, hope you have a good Father's Day on June 18th, 2023. I did have a good Father's Day. Thank you. All right. Now we got a little package from Jeffrey D. Kellen. It is, uh, is a disc. Mr. Cody Leach, first disregard the name on the return address. My name's Joel. Okay, this is from Joel. <laughs> Second, I sent a DVD copy of my video reel because I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you don't have a player, that's okay. You can find my reel on my YouTube channel, Joel Keller Productions. Have a good day, Joel Keller. Okay, I will check that out, Joel. Thank you, sir. Got one more from Devin. This one's actually for my wife, but it's a uh, happy Mother's Day. So I will let her open that one, but uh, I neglected to read the name before I tore it wide open. This is from Tyler Nunn. Got one of these hard to open packages. Why do they make the adhesive so bad on these? Just to keep the honest man out. And Tyler has sent me King of New York. I've only seen this movie once. My dad is a massive fan of this. Christopher Walken, Lawrence Fishburne. He might have been Larry Fishburne back during that day. Letter is inside the Blu-ray. Okay. Dear Cody, I hope you and your family had a great summer and see all the movies of the season. I didn't get to leave a letter in the last package I sent you, but I hope you've enjoyed them, especially Chinatown, which is one of my favorite movies from the 1970s. Anyway, the chilly weather is upon us now that we have approached the first day of September, but it won't be long when horror fans get to wear warm clothes and watch horror flicks in the month of October. Well, it's here, buddy. It's already starting to get cold here in Georgia. I would like to hear your thoughts on Chinatown and King of New York, but I understand you got other things in your mind. I hope you enjoy this film and cannot wait to hear you read this letter in another unboxing video. God bless you and your family. Well, God bless you and your family as well. Uh, I wish I could give you thoughts on it, but I have not seen this movie in a very long time, so I'll have to update you later on. And Chinatown, I have not had a chance to check out yet, but I am very interested in it because that's one of the um, one of the Jack Nicholson movies and roles that I hear talked about the most. So stay tuned. Next, we have 
Cal Templeton. And he sends a book, looks like, or a couple of books and a letter. Let's see here. Cody, I'm a big fan. I wanted to share my first two self-published books with you. The first one, a few cards short, is meant for non-readers with many very short stories. Uh, scan the QR codes at the back first to watch a few stand-up routines I've done. The second, On Borrowed Time, is about a kidney disease. My kidney disease and dialysis, it is a topic that not many people understand. It shines light on this terrible disease. I hope you enjoy and keep up the good work. Well, I'm sorry to hear that you're struggling with that, buddy, but hopefully it works out good. So, you've got... A few cards short, which is right here. The white ones are always hard to get the focus on. A few cards short and on borrowed time. Interesting uh, artwork. Shit. Yeah, the white's getting washed out. There we go. Cool. Well, I will um, I will try to check this out before long, man. I'll be honest with you. I'm not much of a reader, so forgive me if it takes me a while, but uh, I'm interested. I will uh, scan that QR code once I'm done. I got some of your comedy. Now we have an Amazon package. Hopefully it's got a name inside of it. Sometimes they don't. Doesn't look like it does. All right. Well, Caw Lake by Ethan Richards. So maybe Ethan Richards himself sent this to me. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you sent this to me. Uh, it looks like a, I mean, it's obviously a book, but it looks like maybe a monster book about, uh, let's see, rumors, conspiracy, you probably heard of the BIA's involvement, recognize the name Mozak, no investigation or publications recording events, firsthand account of these involved. So it's like a real life story of Call Lake. Interesting. Okay. I am not familiar with what happened at Call Lake. Another Amazon package. Oh, I know who this one's from. A gift for you. What up, Doe? Cody Leach and the Coven. I am shocked and flabbergasted that you have never seen one of the best homages to Tales from the Crypt. This is the most fun you'll have being scared. G.A. Romero, only number one from Devin Lott. Devin, one of my regular watchers, uh, messaged me a couple of times about this. He sent me the original Creep Show, which, yes, I have never seen either of the Creep Shows. I'm not the biggest fan of horror anthologies. Uh, trick or treat being the one exception that I love, but most of them tend to disappoint me, but I am looking forward to checking this out. Maybe that'll be a little review series here soon. So thank you, Devin. I finally opened it, buddy. <laughs> finally, finally. Now we have something from customs. Uh, it says, it says blue. Oh, here we go. Okay. Samuel Eric. All right. From Samuel Eric. Sure, I was still recording. Sometimes I get a little nervous. All right. Oh, there is a letter. Okay. Sometimes the letter gets left in the package. Hi, Cody. I'm a big fan of your channel, and I, as I am of movies and U.S. politics. Oh, Lord. What a thing to be interested in. I know you're not the biggest fan of the Cars franchise, but I thought that you could do a 31 on 31 with animated movies such as Cars, Toy Story, Shrek, Etc. I personally love the Cars franchise and Pixar movies in general. I grew up watching them. Uh, I would be grateful if you just ranked all the Pixar films. Keep up the great horror content as well. Love the Halloween reviews. Yeah, you know what? This, this is the tricky part, uh, which, you know, first of all, I'll show. He got me Cars and Cars 2, which I've seen parts of the first one. I've never seen any of two and I've never seen three. But even if I don't get a lot of mileage out of these, I'm sure my kids will enjoy them. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Uh, the thing that's tricky about Pixar rankings, because uh, my buddy Sean, my buddy Sean Chandler does a number of those, is that there are a ton of those movies that I have not seen that I'm not particularly interested in. And it, it would be something that I would really be interested in catching up on if that video would do any bit of success on my channel. But it wouldn't. Uh, animated stuff, even the stuff that's even closer to comic book genre and everything, just doesn't tend to do well on my channel, which makes sense. I have a mostly adult fan base. So um, it's probably not likely that's ever going to happen, unfortunately. But I love Toy Story. I love The Incredibles. I love the Finding Nemo movies. I love uh, Up and Inside Out and a number of Pixar movies. They're, they're really an incredible company. So I, most of the movies I've seen by them, I really enjoy. So I share your sentiments for the most part, but 
a lot of their recent stuff, especially, I just haven't had too much interest in. All right, we got another letter here from uh, Airmail. It doesn't say, so I'll probably find out on the inside. It is an envelope inside of an envelope. Okay. Envelopeception going on here. Okay. Little homemade card here with Mr. Voorhees and Mr. Wayne. Very good artwork. Just a quick note from Launceston Cornwall to let you know I enjoy watching your videos. Keep up the good work. All the best, Alfred. Are you the Alfred? I'm a huge fan of your work. <laughs> no, it's very cool. I appreciate that. Those are good little drawings. Thank you so much. The Alfred is a fan. Lindsay Curtis sends in a package. And another envelopeception. <laughs> Guys are just murdering forests over here. All right, what do we got? Cody Leach, hope your day is going well. So sorry for the double packaging as I couldn't find the right envelope size. Anyway, I wasn't sure if you were interested in watching these mini series as I wasn't planning on keeping them or watching them in the long run. So I figured you might give them a chance. Always look forward to your awesome videos and have a happy Halloween. Sincerely, Lindsay. So what do we have? Ah, okay. This is cool. Triple collection of the TV version of Stephen King's The Shining, It, which I absolutely love, and then Salem's Lot, which I have not seen this version with Rob Lowe. What the hell is going on with this new Salem's Lot? Where in the hell is that shit coming? Uh, so yeah, a little DVD collection. Well, that's cool, man. Hey, if nothing else, having this means a lot to me. So I, I haven't heard too much good about that version of The Shining, but I would be curious to check it out and find out why. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, we got two more packages. We've got this one here from Some Neat. We have got Christmas, Bloody Christmas, which was a holiday slasher from last year that I did not check out. So I'm curious to check that out. I heard some some decent things about it. And then an art book from Halo Infinite. Is it Halo Infinite? Halo Infinity? How do you guys pronounce it? But uh, yeah, I loved Halo Infinite. So that was um, it's pretty neat. A lot of interesting little artwork in here for the, the villains and everything. Cool, man. Appreciate it. Something neat. Christmas, bloody Christmas. Just saw Terrifier 2 in theaters last night, and they did a teaser for Terrifier 3, which is going to be a, a Christmas slasher movie, so we'll see how good that's going to be. All right, last package. This is uh, from an independent artist, so I guess we'll find out on the inside, maybe, who this is from. This garment was just for you by an indie artist. Uh, order date. It doesn't have a name on it. Well, damn. Let me know who this is from, guys. But there is one, two, three, four t-shirts here. So let's see what we got. We have got... Tale of... <laughs> for all those 90s kids. The Tale of the Super Specs which is an episode of the original run of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Zebo, Zebo the Clown. Another 90s kid dream, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Is the, I think this is the first episode of the series, but Zebo the Clown, pretty awesome. Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. Badass movie. I need to review that at some point. Yo, ho, don't, ho, don't, there, then, there, motherfucker. And this one, good old Doug and Skeeter playing on White Men Can't Jump. Pretty funny. 
somebody is a 90s kid or a fan of 90s TV. Uh, those are all pretty awesome, man. I like those. And my wife gets a kick out of those, too, because she's the same generation. So a lot of times I catch her watching those or, or her wearing those. I'm like, what are you doing with my Skeeter shirt? Oh, man. Let me double check. Because this was a big pile. I think that's everything. Yes, it is. Okay. So we are caught up. <laughs> Finally. Thank you guys for your patience. I apologize for how long it took to get these out, but uh, it was worth the wait because you guys got some awesome stuff here. If anybody wants to send me anything, not asking, but if you want to, my P.O. Box address is in the video description of every single one of my videos. That's the easiest and certainly the safest way to contact me or send anything. So thank you to everybody that sent in something for this episode. I look forward to keeping you guys entertained, hopefully throughout the next uh, however many years. I'm on YouTube, however many years YouTube tolerates me. So thank you so much. Please like, share, and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this. And you can check out my 2023 new release reviews, as well as my latest Off the Shelves episode up here. And as always, keep in mind, opinions are like assholes, but that doesn't mean you have to be.